Hey guys, how's everything going? Uh, today, let's look at number uh, 1 to 4, 5 of Leeds code, tree diameter. We're given an undirected tree, return its diameter, number of edges in the longest path. So actually, we're going to find the longest path, right? The tree is given as an array of edges, where edges i equals uv is a bidirectional edge between nodes u and v. Each node has labeled in the set 0 to edges length. Like uh, we're given input like 0, 1, 0, 2, means there is an edge between 0, 1, and 0, 2. So the longest will be, well, 1, 0, 2, so the length will be uh, 2, the yeah, output 2. For this case, obviously, the longest will be 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, so the length will be 4. We're given an edges of 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, 4, 5. Um, so actually, the, the, the shape of this tree looks, uh, how to say, it's not that clear to understand. Actually, if we draw it in, in a more like of a real tree, uh, the problem might, might be look easier to understand. Uh, actually, uh, I've just recorded a video of a, a similar question, which is actually the, is uh, literally the same, it's a tree diameter, but rather than the uh, full tree of any, of, of, of how to say, uh, it's, it's a, a multiple tree, this simpler form question only focus on the binary tree so if you look at the tree like this well obviously the things became uh, uh, the solution became obvious right it's about recursion and uh, I have recorded that video so please search on my channel and uh, looking please look for detailed explanation there so the general idea is that there are only two cases for each for each node in a tree well the first one the, the, the final path, suppose there is a path, longest path there, the node might be in there or not not in the, in the path, right? If it is in the path, it must be left part plus right part. So that becomes how we can define, how we can find the, uh, the, the, the longest depth of left tree and the longest depth of tallest, uh, the, the height, right? The tallest uh, path. Of left and right means the height of left and right or the node is not in the sub longest tray longest pass well that means that longest pass was either in the left part or the right part so that becomes a recursion problem so we are actually call, called a recursion function and uh, the return value of this function will be first the diameter of the the, the tree and then the height of the tree. So if you want to calculate the, the node, the diameter of this, this tree, we first we get the diameter and height of this tree and the diameter of height and height of this tree. And we will comparison the, the diameter of left, diameter of right, or the height plus the height of the, uh, the sum of height of both tree. And uh, the recursion is done. Going back to this uh, multiple tree problem, the tree will be uh, more complicated. There will be more than two nodes in each, uh, under each node, right? For one, maybe there are two, four, three, four, blah, blah, blah. But the general idea is the same. Rather than we compare left or right, we will use a, re uh, use a for loop to, to get all, all, the, all the diameter and height of all the subtrees, right? So yeah, that's what we are gonna we are going to do. Just like uh, this binary tree form. Okay, so our general idea is to use recursion. I'll define the I'll define the, the, the recursion called walk. Uh, yeah, I'll use node for, for now. And uh, this recursion must return uh, diameter. 
in the height. So how can we traverse through the tree? We're given the input of in the edges, right? So if we go into the, f the first node, which is 0, we need to go to 1. But for 1, we need go to go to 2 and a 4. So if we go to 1, we get to go to 2 and a 4. Well, if we we're going if we just handle the input like this, we need we, we're not we need to search for all the nodes for elements to find the sub sub uh, the subtree of node to one, right? Well that's a waste of time. We need to process the input a little bit. So I would just to say we process input first. Uh, I will get I will put the sub and the child element child node under the right uh, under the right index. So for zero, the child would be only one. So we'll put one here. For one, it will be one, two, and four. So next will be two, four. So I'll do that. I'll say nodes. It is nodes. Mm. I'll say it's child children. Okay, it's like empty tree, em, uh, empty array, and I'll I'll for let edge for each edges. For each edge, they will be from two, right? Could we just use this one for? Let let me see. Really, uh, I'm not sure of that, so I'll just run the code. It seems. Oh, it seems yes, we can. Okay, cool. And uh, if children from is m is uh, undefined, I will set it to empty array, and then. We can push that, right? Push uh, from push to what we go. What what we are going going to get is uh, how's the log children. Oh, let's use this more complicated example to see the intermediate result. Well, you see, for this process, we get a new form of the input like the f one. Two, four, three, empty, five. It means for the first node, the child, child, children is one, then two, five, four, and then three. For two is three, right? And a four, a uh, three, there is nothing following three, so empty. And then for four, it's five, and for five, it's empty. Okay, so now we can just walk down the node. Actually, for node, actually is the index of this uh, this form, right? I'll say walk the index as what we define as we define the result here. The final result would be return walk zero and the first this, right? Okay. Now, for each index means each node, we will use a for loop to try to get the children. And uh, to do it recursively, and by that we need to uh, get two things. One, just as we did in the binary tree, we will get each parameter of each subtree, and then get the biggest one, and then get to the top two heights of the subtree and the sum of them up, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean loop through children to find one max diameter two top two height okay so yeah let's do that so max diameter initialize it with two a zero and uh, let top two heights Zero, zero. We do it as descending. 
now for let uh, child of children index diameter height would be walk child index right yeah so we can update max diameter diameter equals math max diameter and the top two heights okay the first one is the larger one so if height is bigger or equal than the first one which means need to update uh, we need to pop the last one right so I'll say we can pop but we will I just do the assignment one equals zero zero equals height or if else if height is bigger than top two heights this one we can update height if it is smaller than the second one it could be ignored so now we get the max the diameter of all the subtree and the top two height. Yeah, now let's do it. Now let's return the uh, the diameter and height of current no, current index, right? Okay. For so for the diameter, there are three cases: the max diameter, or the top two heights plus, right? For the height, I mean. For two, the height would be this one. Be counting the edges, so it would be. For two, the edges should be, uh, one, and for three, the the should be two. So we need to plus one. For each, uh, height, right? But for some, uh, for for the left height plus right height, we could just plus plus them plus them up. So top two heights zero plus top two heights one. Yeah, and the height, well, it's a uh, left height or right height, right? And the bigger one plus itself. Like for one, it's actually there is an edge here. So one is this edge. So it would be mass max uh, top two heights plus one. We're using the spread operator here. Okay, now the ending condition for this walk, walk loop is that uh, if it is empty, right? When we are working two to three, yeah, three for three, there's no, there's nothing there. It's empty, means the height is zero, and uh, the uh, diameter, yeah, it's zero. If children index undefined, we returns one and oh zero zero. Hmm? Is this zero zero right? I mean, uh, for two, for three, like here, a uh, one zero one two three. So for two, we get zero zero, and the height is one. Okay, oh, the height means the edge under it. So for zero, the height for one, the height would be. 
uh, one one two. Yeah. And uh, for zero, uh, for, for one one two. Hmm? Wait a minute. That means the height and the plus here actually needs to be two two four, right? So actually the height of two must be two. Height of two must be two, then three. Two three three must be one. So for the empty one, I think it should be return one. Let's run the code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we as we said, the node leaf node height should be one, should it, should the edge before it, not under it. For one, actually the depths will be containing this edge. Let's submit. Okay, we're accepted and uh, it's pretty good. Now let's analyze the time and space complexity. Uh, the time. Now for the tree, we just uh, go one node and then go to the other node. Each node actually be traversed how many times? Uh, zero, one, two, yeah, actually one. So the t actually the time complexity actually will be uh, the count of walk, right? So it's linear time. For the space, we use one children to store uh, array to store the 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 inputs. So actually the nodes. N means the count of the nodes. So this will be linear. And there's a cost stack. For worst case, it's also linear, right? So yeah, it's linear. Good. Uh, we've tackled this medium one problem. It's actually is the full usage of the recursion. So for tree, the first one is recursion. And then we find a way to improve that. Okay, that's all for this problem. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to follow my channel. Yeah, bye-bye.